listen, I've been on this, you know, since, since 8 o'clock this morning uh, on social media, and there is a lot of anxiety out there because you don't see it turning, right? When is it going to turn? John, it's not turning. It's coming straight to us. It's going to turn, all right? The, the turn was never forecast to be on Sunday. The turn isn't even on Monday morning. The turn will come Monday afternoon, Monday evening, into Tuesday. Remember that? That was about six years ago. That was Hurricane Dorian, as it was absolutely devastating the Northwest Bahamas as a Category 5 sat over that region for two days. It was headed straight west. Uh, lots of people in Florida were concerned the hurricane was heading here. And as you've grown accustomed to my presentations over my 34 years in South Florida newscasts, confidently, I went on TV and I told you, it's going to turn. You don't need to worry. It is going to turn. And I am here to tell you that I'm not sure I can do that this year. Because of the gut cuts, the gutting, the sledgehammer attack on science in general, and, and I could talk about that for a long, long time, and how that is affecting the U.S. Uh, leadership in science over many years, and how we're losing that leadership, and this is a multi-generational impact on science in this country, all right? But specifically, let's talk about the federal government cuts to the National Weather Service and to NOAA. Did you know? that Central and South Florida National Weather Service offices are currently basically 20 to 40% under, understaffed. From Tampa to Key West, including the Miami office, 20 to 40% understaffed. Now, this type of uh, staffing shortage is having impacts across the nation because there's been a nearly 20% reduction in weather balloon releases, launches, that carry those radio signs. And what we're starting to see is that the quality of the forecasts is becoming degraded. There's also a chance, because of some of these cuts, that NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft will not be able to fly this year, and with less reconnaissance missions, we may be flying blind, and we may not exactly know how strong a hurricane is before it reaches the coastline, like happened a couple of years ago in Hurricane Otis in Acapulco, Mexico. So uh, I was asked to talk about this today. I'm glad I was. I just want you to know that what you need to do is call your representatives and make sure that these cuts are stopped. Back to you.